Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We start this update on the western side of the south transept. Here was a group of five pieces representing characters from Shakespeare by John Graham Locke. The piece on the left has been added for this update. Duncan's Horses from Macbeth. The piece at the Great Exhibition is now in the collections of the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. It is currently not on display and hence is not currently accessible. We are grateful to the museum for allowing us to use this image as a billboard. We now move north to the nave and turn east. Here is a statue of sculptor John Flaxman by Musgrave Luthwaite Watson. The exhibition catalogue and documents written early in 1851 place this sculpture in the British Sculpture Court. However, later documents, including several illustrations, place it here, a much more suitable prominent position for such an illustrious subject. Watson had taken advice from Flaxman when he first came to London in 1823 as a result of which he entered the Royal Academy schools. So Watson probably regarded Flaxman as a mentor. Note the date 1851. Watson died at the age of just 43 in 1847, so this sculpture was completed by his assistant George Nelson, who first completed Watson's other great work Eldon and Stoll which is in the centre of the western nave of the exhibition. This statue of Flaxman is now at University College London and we are grateful to UCL Art Museum for allowing us to photograph it to generate this model. Moving east along the nave, we come to Italy, and enter the Rome section, we come to a statue by Scottish sculptor Lawrence MacDonald. It is located here as MacDonald spent much of his working life in Rome. The statue is listed in the exhibition catalogue as Iconic Statue, although it was later described as Lord Kilmory dressed as a Grecian warrior. The statue is now in Mourn Park, Newry, and is presented here as a billboard until we are able to visit to create a 3D model, hopefully later this year. We now continue north to the France and Algeria corridor, where we finish this update with two more pieces. Here is Frenet by James Pradier, now at the Musée de Grenoble. It is presented here as a billboard until we are able to obtain a 3D model. Turning right we see Cephalus and Procris by Joseph Marius Ramus. We have been unable to locate this piece so assume it is lost, hence it also is presented here as a billboard. Watch out for my next video, which will continue to add to the contents of the exhibition.